This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you tap that like button, tap that subscribe button. Make sure you destroy the like button until it turns blue. Let's get right into it. Okay, so we got trouble react. So Gucci Man's been having problems with Jeezy for forever, right? <laughs> for 15 years. Um, at one point, you know, Gucci was just reacting to the point where Jeezy wanted someone to take his chain and Gucci Man ended up defending himself and uh, actually taking the person out. Uh, ever since then, it's been just forever issues. Even recently, they were asking if him and Jeezy could patch it up. He said, no, nah, that's a forever thing. That's forever. I'll never do a, a, a record with Jeezy, he said. Um, now, if you don't know, Trouble and Gucci, like when Trouble was getting in the game, Gucci embraced him and Trouble inherently took on Gucci's problems as well, you know, with T.I., Jeezy. Well, recently, Trouble and Jeezy just worked together, and uh, he kind of puts out a post about it, talking about how you choose in size that aren't beneficial for somebody that don't even mess with you. So he's saying, like, Gucci doesn't even mess with me. Uh, hey, uh, a, p a person told me that Gucci was canceled. I said, but when I call, he answer. Get off his D. I just focus on my paper and my family. Grown man business. All right, so he chooses Jeezy's side. I mean, that's fine. I mean, it's up to him, you know. Trouble, trouble, trouble. He has a new song out. Make sure you go check out his new video out with uh, Jeezy, you know. Then we got um, Kylie Jenner looks very different without makeup. <laughs> that was interesting to me. Then we got... Uh, Tori Bricks, this is uh, Rich the Kid's wife. Uh, she got into an altercation at Target and actually ended up breaking a woman's nose. Uh, someone said, felony batter. She was booked for some Vaseline chapstick. Hopefully it was worth it. She cut my mom in line, demanding, checked out while my mom wasn't even done with her transaction. Then she starts threatening my mom and began exchanging words. And then out of nowhere, she sucks my mom in the face. You're trash, you're trashy. Then she goes on to talk about her, you know, personal things. When really it was just someone being disrespectful. Then Tory Bricks reacts and says, I hate when people are the aggressor and play the victim when they get a response. But anyway, hope everyone is staying safe and respecting uh, others' social distancing, especially during this pandemic. Well, I believe that Tory Bricks probably felt entitled and did that. Uh, sometimes I believe certain things, but this one's weird. Uh, French Montana. Says he's got more hits than Kendall Lamar, but you don't have the sales, bro. And does he have more hits? Probably. But it depends on what you consider a hit. Because, like, just because you have a song with Drake, it's automatically going to chart. And a lot of his songs are features. He kind of has a lot of cheat codes. Kind of like a DJ Khaled rapper. Um, Kendrick Lamar, he's been shading Kendrick Lamar for a while. He shaded him a while back. Yeah, I'm not going to say I didn't agree with him. I kind of did. He uh, When he won all these Grammys in 2016 for that, butter, I think it was the Butterfly album, he said, I feel like uh, we're in a new face of hip-hop. They put him on a platform, and they can shift things in that direction. Uh, that's not the right thing to do. His album doesn't sound like anything that's out there. The whole game sounds different. That's probably when he won a Grammy. I mean, let's be honest. All right? But uh, anyways, that was back in 2016. He's keeping that same energy now. And I saw an old tweet that he said about Kanye that was kind of funny. <laughs> it's on the screen. It probably went by. I think it's hilarious. But, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, man, that's basically what's going on. Um, I'll update you on anything else. Peace. And I hope you guys are doing well. Peace.